Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quickie general, try and make it, I don't know, around five minutes. Uh, it'll be for star and Venus placements. And I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice for the zodiac signs of who this will be for. All right, so we got Virgo, Gemini, and Aries. Okay, so if your placements are your star sign or Venus sign and Aries, Gemini, or Virgo, this may be for you. I'm going to go ahead and pull general energy of masculine and feminine just to get started and we'll go from there. Just get a quickie assessment for whoever needs it at this time. All right, spirit, what advice, guidance, message do you have for Star or Venus, Aries, Gemini, Virgo at this time. Please and thank you. All right, feminine is out. We'll get masculine really quick. Get a good shuffle on that. Make sure we get some reversals in there so we can get the shadow side meanings. Right, one please from the masculine side. All right, nice. All right, so we have Creedy Land, self care for feminine, and we have a cot dedication. I really like the image on that one. All right, let me get out the book for you guys and just give a general on what these meanings are. They're pretty self-explanatory, but there might be a few bits and pieces that may resonate for you. Let's see. Creedy Lad Welsh, it's time to take care of yourself. Akat Mayan, complete current project and start new one. It is safe to commit project, path, venture, or write. Okay. So that's pretty general. That could be pretty much anything. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the New Orleans Oracle. I'm feeling guided to use that deck. And get a good idea of where we're going with this, okay? Just get a couple cards. All right. One more spirit, thank you. So we've got, ooh. Nice. We've got new beginnings number two, and that's just talking about new beginnings coming down the pipeline, and number ten, lanyap, which is the gift. So blessings. So this actually looks really positive. I like this. Oh, let's see if there's any. Let's get some moonology on this. Let's see if there's any guidance that needs to know. If this is regards to any signifiers, identifiers of situation. Timing, even. Get one card on this. All right. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, someone with a moon in Capricorn. Could be the previous new moon in Capricorn or the one coming up for timing. Okay. Let's see what else am I feeling guided to pull right now? Let's get a soul lesson on this. Okay, so that's something that needs to be aware of at this time. Please and thank you, Spirit. Any soul lessons for this? All right. Could be a couple stories, it seems, so far. Could be a few combining. We have... Grief, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And I'll also read from my notes on that one as well. And we have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Okay. So perhaps the ending and new beginning is a small situation. Perhaps ending funny. <laughs> it's not as serious. All right. Grief. 
Nothing is gone forever. Belief of loss is an illusion. The lesson of loss is to acknowledge the bonds of love never end, and we have not been abandoned. Acceptance in the heart that you will be reunited and allow something beneficial from the experience that leads to deeper understanding. Humor. Honesty. Sorry. Time for fun and joy. Good for mind, body, and soul. Seek out soul family that make you feel good to be alive. Positive mindset is needed. Immerse yourself in high vibrational activities. Even music, movie, and books should be fun. Vibrations seep into subconscious. So whatever you put out comes back. That's how we manifest. Okay. What else am I feeling to pull at the moment? Let's get an animal spirit guide for you. For more signs and synchronicities. You just need good self-care through that process. Any transition needs it. It's rebirth. It feels very rebirth. And perhaps whatever might be frustrating with the process needs a little humor. I like that. Stay dedicated. Whatever this adventure right path is. This new beginning. The hard work is paying off. And the animal you have you could look out for is a ladybug. This is a good time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things in your life. And Lanyap talks about blessings. So that's confirmation there too, you guys. All right. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. I'm very happy for the person this is for, or people, because it does feel like a few situations. So, so I'm going to pull from our new, as it the unshakable inner peace. I read from the book on that. I'll just this off. It's quirky. Alrighty. So what we do have for our Aries, Gemini, and Virgo wins <laughs> at this time. Venus placement and star sign placement. Oh, there we go. All right, let me grab the book really quick. You have number six. Number six may be significant to you. There is strength in doing nothing. Wait. All right. Just like nature has its seasons, we have seasons of our soul. There's a time for planting seeds, harvest, growth, and celebration, and rest and renewal. Understanding the seasons of your soul's growth will help you navigate life with more grace and ease. Often we feel stuck when really we are initiating new levels of consciousness. And with this comes a time of inner reflection. You've drawn this card because you're in a phase of realignment. Perhaps you've been pushing and working hard with few tangible results. When this happens, it's human nature to push harder, but your true self has an easier plan. Relax, release, and surrender. Stop pushing so hard and wait it out. We've been conditioned to believe that if we push harder, we will achieve more and be successful. But there is power in the pause. Instead of using force to push ahead, let yourself be. This is not about surrendering your desires and dreams, but relaxing into the flow of life and seeing that doing nothing is necessary for alignment and progress forward. The divine assignment. Now is not the time to rush ahead for things are happening behind the scenes and aligning for you. Trust the process and allow yourself to relax and do less. Practice being patient by slowing down. Now is a good time to rest, take sea salt baths, journal, meditate, or connect with your spirit guides. There is great power in pausing and showing the universe you trust it by releasing your need to know or control the outcome. Everything will make sense soon, but your higher self is urging you to take this time to regroup, reevaluate, and rest. For you will need the energy for your next phase. Ooh, I kind of feel nosy, guys. Let's find out what's coming up. <laughs> well, let's let's see let's see if spirit will tell us, <laughs> and we'll get some signs and sinks, okay? <laughs> We're nosy, spirit. Come on, we gotta know. We gotta know. Give us a hint, just a clue, just a little something, something. What do you look forward to? I will pull for Kipper. And from Life Purpose Oracle. 
At one point, the white purchase or could you give us an idea? Actually, two popped out. All right. Yeah, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Oh, see, spirits being big. Tease, 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 tease. Love you. Infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. All right, spirit. Let's pull a sign in synchronicity from this deck here. Maybe you can kind of at least give us some signs of synchronicities so we know what to look out for and we know when the new beginning is coming. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I had a feeling that was going to happen. We won't need to pull from the kicker because it's just going to be another vague response. <laughs> All right, we got two. Very good. All right. 333 three, three is going to be important. New growth, arrival of good news. Ha ha, funny, funny, right? <laughs> Can't make this up. Mind, body, soul, alignment, balance. So stay balanced. Your ascended masters are guiding, okay? Yeah, it means your spirit guides too. Also be on the lookout for a black and white feather. And it could be a black feather or a white feather or both, okay? Change is coming, all right? There you go, guys. Have a good one. I'll do more of these, I promise. I'm going to try and do as many as possible.